All right. Back for Moving part right two. Along. Yeah, part two. So uh, I knew that Luke needed a uh, a uh, Sega Genesis controller. So this isn't a it's not a first party controller. It's the high frequency version. But you know the cool thing about it is it has the uh, directional pad. Uh, very similar to the six button controllers, which is nice. And it's got turbo and slow motion functionality, which is cool. So we can play that Lord of the Rings uh, fighting yes. game. Yeah. <laughs> if we have time, I'll show them that in a minute. I've never shown that. All right, and uh, Genesis 3 in real rough shape, but you know, I got it working, so that's all that matters. Let's see, what do we got here? I got a quick comic game block. Um, Robocop versus Terminator, which of course had its own comic series. This uh, game, of course, being famous for having a uh, grenade launcher weapon, which uh, when you fired it and then looked up with the character or moved left and right, the uh, grenades would actually mimic your character's movement. So it was like an oversight that they wound up just keeping. So it's a really interesting mechanic. You aim the bullets by moving around and jumping. If you jump, your bullet jumps. Wow. It's pretty messed up, but it works. It's funny. That's cool. Um, Arcade's Revenge, Spider-Man, X-Men. It's a team-up uh, game. It's, you know, it's more, it has a lot more uh, puzzle, puzzle elements to it than uh, you would expect. If, if uh, you were a kid like me and you, uh, you played the uh, Genesis version of, uh, you know, the classic X-Men game, uh, like in the Toy Store or whatever, you might have been disappointed. I know I was at first, but, you know, going back to that game, it's, it's got some challenging puzzles to it. You know, Evan has that. Our cousin Evan has that. That's where I played that. And he's right. It is puzzle-based. Like, I couldn't yeah. even get out of the first level. It was just... Yeah, was oh, yeah. So I was tough. devastated as a kid because yeah. I couldn't beat the first level. I, I didn't mean, know what to do. It was just... What? I just I felt worthless, but, yeah. you know... I, I triumphed in the end, so there we have yeah. it. Yeah, he tried to sell that to me, and I'm just like, no, I don't really want this. <laughs> Alright, we got Wolverine Adamantium Rage. Uh, now, this was the game that made up for all my sadness with Spider-Man X-Men. This game, this was fun. Had a lot of good times with that. And uh, X-Men 2, you know, arguably not as good as the first X-Men, um, but still fun. Uh, a good game in its own right. Yeah. And actually, you know, there's a, I don't think it was ever released. In fact, I'm like 99.9% .9 positive that it wasn't, but they were going to make an ex-woman game with all the female characters. That would have been cool. And uh, it actually had, it looked, there's a, you know, there's like a prototype uh, uh, ROM that you can check out oh, on, cool. on an emulator, and it, it seems like the game had some really cool gameplay mechanics, like the way the powers worked, you know, it actually let you move around the screen, like using characters' flight powers, and Storm could manipulate the wind and things like that. But That sounds cool. Yeah. And uh, we got uh, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse, which was, you know, a, a more action-packed kind of game, less of the puzzle elements. Um, you know, it didn't age as well as I thought it would, but, I mean, as a kid, I was really excited when I, when I heard this game was coming out because it was made by Capcom, and, of course, you know, yeah. I was really into Street Fighter. What's the X-Men Friday game? Is it that? X, no, that's uh, Children of the Atom. Okay, yeah, yeah and that, Street Fighter versus yeah, X-Men. It came out on Saturn, okay. uh, PlayStation, cool. Arcade, of course. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, you wanna you wanna tackle a stack? Or yeah, sure. I can, you know, I can go through these. Go real through quick. the 360 stuff yeah. and the Xbox. All right. So what we have here is just some. These were some pack-in titles when I bought my used 360 Sega Superstars Tennis. Uh, I'd be a liar if I said I played this game. But really? I'm gonna shovel it into your uh, collection. Okay. And you can tell me how it is. Thanks. Same thing with this Xbox One game. Uh, 13. Uh, but it's fun. I, I don't know anything about it. What, 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 tell me a little bit about this game. What it is is, uh, I gave it to, this was actually mine, but I gave it to Riz's roommate and he forgot it, I guess. So or now something. it's back into the, back it's, into the Lucas fold. Yeah, you can, you can keep it if you want, I don't really mind. But uh, it's fun. It's like, a, it reminds me of, if you've ever played Gun on the original Xbox, it's, it's, a, it's a cool first person shooter and it also reminds me of Borderlands because it has comic book style graphics that are really cool and um, like I don't I didn't play it enough to like get the story but it has fun gameplay so yeah it really does look like a comic book yeah it's yeah well, so we got plants vs zombies the uh, the great hit everybody's playing this on their phone or at least was like two years ago yeah every mobile device iPads iPhones classic game tower defense and Injustice. 
I pack. I just threw this in when I sold Luke some games because you know it's a good game, and you know DC characters are you know finally in a great fighting game. But uh, it just wasn't what I was looking for in a fighting game. I know people like uh, are having a lot of fun with it in the competitive fighting game scene right now. But yeah, it just wasn't for me. I it's it's it is my kind of fighting game uh, because I enjoy the. Mortal Kombat 9, like the new Mortal Kombat, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, and it's actually, I was good at Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, is it Mortal Kombat 9? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. That's what, That's what called. I called it, yeah. I mean, yeah. It was just called uh, Mortal Kombat, but everyone called it 9. So, yeah. Injustice, uh, I have the demo, but, wow, I didn't even know you were throwing this game in, so Ooh. thanks a lot, Rich. Alright. Okay, cool. Let's move on here. Alright. Got some Sega Genesis and PS1 stuff that I'm excited about. Um, we got Beast Wrestler. Uh, I won't talk about this too much, but I will say it is a fun game to play with friends. We played yeah. it for about 30 minutes. It's an incredibly slow plotting fighting game. Kind of yeah. like Hybrid Heaven, but not by design. Yeah. It just happens to be really yeah. slow. <laughs> for those of you who haven't checked it out, check out Hybrid Heaven on N64. It's Underrated in my opinion. We haven't played it much, but from what we played it, it's pretty fun. It's a turn-based fighting game. Yeah. Uh, let that one sink in. Yeah. Uh, Skitchen. Skitch, Skitchen. It's like some skateboarding game, I assume. Um, I haven't played it. I Maybe really, check it I out really on haven't. a rainy day. See how it is. Um, yeah, at this point, it's a rainy day game for sure, but it looks fun. Um, a game that is pretty cool to have actually because it looks really cool on the shelf is uh, combs and I don't know about you but I like having the little like flap tabs on yeah. the Genesis game so this one's cool I was uh, always, when I was you know trying to collect complete in box Genesis games I'd always look for them yeah just, it's just cool it is really cool because if you want to hang them up like at one point I hung up what was it? I hung up one of the Genesis games I think it was like out of this world yeah and I got a beautiful condition out of this world. Like, it's it's ridiculous. And it is one of my favorite games of all time because we grew up on it. Like, I know you technically grew up on it, but so did I. Yeah. Even though I'm 10 years younger because, like, my brother had it and stuff, so. Super Smash TV, which I really want to check out. Great Again, game. I haven't had time to play it yet, so maybe we'll check it out later tonight. NBA Jam, which I now have the cartridge for. <laughs> A lot of fun. Uh, this is a great game. Um, From downtown. Yeah. I had the uh, Saturn version, but I sold it at a tag sale. Kind of regret it, but I didn't really have much fun with it. Is the Genesis version better? I think it is. It must yeah. be. It must be. Like, is it fun from what you played of it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. And probably the best one is Google Max, which I'm really excited about. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun game. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, because I've been really busy playing PC games lately. But uh, I know this is a good game, and I believe this was also an arcade game. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, uh, a lot of fun. Street Fighter Alpha 2, which I paid $6 for. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, I got it at X9 Games at Hadley. Uh, great store. Oh, yeah. That, that guy's really cool there, he's, too. Yeah. He's a lot of fun. Um, and he was really helpful because uh, I used to have the Super Nintendo version for this game. It's not good, as you may know. Um, and so I'm like, is this version better than the uh, Super Nintendo version? And he goes, oh yeah, definitely. So at that point, I knew I was going to get it. So he helped me out a lot there. Yeah, I mean, the Super Nintendo version is cool just because it's a technical feat that they were able to cram it all yeah. into the in, uh, in, into a card that would run on that system. Yeah. So that, that in itself is cool. It's on Saturn too, I think, right? Yeah. Saturn, uh, Saturn and PlayStation 2, Saturn... or PlayStation 1 versions are pretty close. Yeah. Saturn usually is better for the fighting games though. Yeah, it is. Definitely. And finally, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. Uh, this is a fun one to have. Played about 10 minutes of it and shut it off. Because I knew it was a masterpiece and it needed its own day dedicated yeah. to it yep. so I didn't want to put too much time into it but uh, I know it's a masterpiece from what I played of it so uh, yeah let's finish it out with your stuff alright got a few uh, DC games unfortunately uh, Project Justice here uh, needs a cleaning hopefully that'll be all it takes to get it running but 
It was just like a goofy school, for whatever reason, yeah. school fighting game, you know? Everybody's like wearing school uniforms or a gym teacher. <laughs> but anyway, we also have Worms Armageddon, which is a, you know, classic uh, turn-based uh, sort of side-scrolling real-time strategy game. <laughs> so much. Or turn-based strategy, rather. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool game. We were just playing it a few minutes ago. Yeah. Had a lot of fun with it, doing some ninja rope hijinks. Uh, Mars Matrix, which is uh, Capcom, one of Capcom's um, uh, Naomi era. Or actually, no, was this game on CPS too? I believe it was, yeah. So, uh, one of uh, the great Dreamcast uh, experiments in uh, shooting games for Capcom. Which, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not always the biggest fan of their shooters, because there's a lot of companies that, you know, solely focus on the shooters, but, you know, this is a good one. It's got some interesting You know what's a good games. Capcom shooter is? Legendary Wings on NES. Oh, yeah. Game's fun. But, uh, it's really brutal. Really Mario hard. Matrix. Fun game, though. We were playing it. And uh, this slipped through when I was doing the uh, Super Nintendo game earlier, but or Super Nintendo games, but had a lot of fun, speaking of games, playing California games, yeah. too. I like that little tie in there. Yeah, I like All that. All right. High five. Yes. This game sucks. And Finally. last but not least, I have my uber rare custom version of uh, Gundam Wing Endless, uh, well, Gundam uh, Endless Duel. Yeah. Which is the uh, Super Famicom fighting game, which I retrofitted into this case just so I could play it on my uh, American console without packing things up. But uh, yeah, it's a fantastic fighting game. It has like shades of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in it. Oh, wow. Which is my game, you know, my game of choice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can jump, super jump, air dash, do all kinds of cool things. Big projectiles across the screen, super moves, and it's uh, got great music to boot. And Let's all that check it out packed, into a, packed into a Super NES card, so. Wow, yeah, yeah that's cool. Yeah, you're pretty game. talented doing that. You did that with one of my Sega Genesis games, so. Yeah, yeah, if that's, you know, it's a, it's a good trick, actually, to know that um, nine times out of 10 for the cartridge-based systems, um, you can just do a case swap most of the time. To, uh, to get him to work, you know, to, to beat the physical lock out of the system. Why don't you go grab Lord of the Rings? It's the second from the second shelf up there. Oh, yeah, here we go. I got a Chinese Mega Drive game here that I got. Super unofficial, but, yeah. you know, there's some of these floating around on, on eBay. This one, this copy was on there for, like, two years. Yeah. And I never bought it, and I almost bought it, but... Then I bought it. You were over when I bought it, I think. Yeah. And it's Lord of the Rings on Chinese Mega Drive. I think it's Chinese Mega Drive, right? Um, it's yeah, it's like a Hong Kong or uh, or China kind of uh, pirate game. It's yeah. It's boy, you know, it's borrowing probably uh, the engine from some game, and you know they they redrew over some characters, some sprites to make them look like Lord of the Rings characters. But I mean, usually the pirate games are kind of crappy, especially the fighting games, like. There's a, a whole bunch of like Street Fighter 2 on NES pirate games, yeah. uh, which I mean, pe some people they just collect pirate games just because they get a, a kick out of them. But this one actually a pretty good fighting game. And it has its own original score too, which is exciting because it's really fun and the music adds a lot to it. So yeah, it's really yeah. That's another nice. that's another rarity with the pirate games actually is to have uh, decent music. Yeah. Usually it's just like some classical music or like you know. Something that's really out of place. Yeah. Uh, you know, like it sounds like it was on Atari or something usually, but you know, this is this is a fun game. I'm pretty sure that's an original score though, from what like I've heard. Yeah. It sounds like they pretty much made it, like, because I've never heard anything like it before, and it's pretty unique. So I think it's an original score. Yeah, definitely a great fighting game. You know, believe yeah. it or not. I, I, I of course, I'm biased because I, I actually seek out terrible fighting games and then become really good at them. But that's yeah. just kind of my thing that I. I like should get Kasumi Ninja on Jaguar. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a lot of cool stuff. Um, big pile, big stacks, and lots of fun. Yeah, we got some more game hunting in the works, so we'll, oh, we'll, yeah. come, we'll come back here with some, some more pickups. Yeah. Uh, we're going to hit up the flea market together someday. We haven't been in ages, uh, but that'll be a lot of fun. And hopefully our annual Thanksgiving hunt will go through. Um, we might do it in Massachusetts this year. I don't know. It depends on, like, you know, the whole situation, but uh, 
Maybe it's all up to you because. Yeah, we'll find we'll find some some place to check out. Yeah. But anyway, old games at Beer of Juice 69,000. Yes. Oh.